of the morning, YouTube. So it's breakfast time again in the duck place. Duck place, the duck area, the duck, the duck, duck land. <laughs> I don't know what to say. But um, but yeah, these guys are tucking in and the, the Muscovy crosses, they're doing well. They're trying to move in for food, which I'm glad they're doing now. They're just taking their time with it. I think because they, oh, they get bullied so much. So they try and get food, but they're, they're going to get bullied out to the point where they're not going to be able to eat anything. So they need to kind of, you know what I mean? They need to show some, uh, I feel sorry for them. I don't think it happened so much with the Shetlands. I kind of did, but it's not so bad because I think they, they were outnumbered, I think. There was like 11 of them and the rest would have been, there's only five Muscovies at the time. So they're trying to get food. So what I might do is put a, put a bowl down over there in the little, um, that little coop there just so they can have some food because I mean they need to eat too otherwise they won't they won't thrive anyways I'm blabbing so basically Indian runner ducks these brown ones as you know we're just basically looking after them see look it's just it's horrid it's not nice to see can't uh, can't stand bullying so the person who owns the brown ducks they want some Shetlands and basically I want to give them the breeding pair, which is, it's hard to distinguish them now because they're getting so big, but there's a female over there. She's all molting, I can see her, she's there. And the male, he's got very orange feet. And he is, there he is, he's just popped his head up. He's over there, he's biting the khaki Campbell's bum. So basically give them the breeding pair and then give them pretty much all the hens of the Shetlands and give them, that's about it actually. And then with the drakes, then we'll kind of, we'll, um, sort the drakes out because i put it out there i have to put them out i have put them online and no one's taking them no one's bothered and plus i live on an island i can't do pre-loved up here no one's gonna gonna get a boat to gonna come across and they pick you you never know i've never tried that but i put it out there some people said oh if you live closer than this that, and the other so basically that's the plan and if no one takes the boys then we'll end up they end up going in the fridge freezer basically that's the plan so and then with the brown ducks what we're going to do is we're going to take a breeding pair because only first generation brother and sister that's okay to have babies because basically the shetlands were brother and sister but then they managed to have these guys which is great so um so yeah so we're going to have a breeding pair and then we're going to try and get some hens off the indian runner ducks because like i said i want to limit my population with ducks there's just so many there's 30 here right now there's 30 bloody ducks so that's how bonkers is going definitely keeping the muscovies i don't think we need two boys so i want to take the kind of the fitter one of the lot because they just gobble down basically they look they look the thing is they look the part they look like bouncers to me like you know when you see these if you saw these two ducks stand outside the front of the door like of a kind of duck club you wouldn't want to come in you'd be like hesitant you chuck your duck drugs aside so they maybe that's what my plan that's what my basically my thought is is that they can have keep the otter at bay that's good to see though look that um the ducks are getting some food some of the inquisitive ones anyway they're kind of lingering around but like i said i will put some extra food out just to see but everyone is here these ducks are gannets mate but like i said they've got this whole and my neighbor said actually she said she's seen them over there like because they can get out of here she said she's seen them over like near the flipping container over there wandering around so i can't wait to get the fencing up so then i can cordon this bit off and so then they can start being pest control and call me weird but i am going to start trying to breed slugs and snails for these guys to eat because it's just extra free food for them because i am going to try and get the ducks off grain too so um so that's basically the plan but um but yeah if you ever seen a duck eat this is how they carry on you should see when i, I wet the food it's, it's awful it's just mess 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 but anyways yeah the, it's good to see the little muscovy slash thing he's eating now which is great so they will just get the scraps from everyone because there's still food here so i give them enough that's it i give them enough food to feed 21 birds and there's 31 30 birds here so they have to kind of go out and kind of search for the rest of their stuff but soon i'll be having a lot of ponds up there when the house gets up there so then i'll be able to get a lot of pond weed and stuff like that and then i can bring it down and bulrush is another one i could feed to the birds too but a lot of pond weed a lot of snails and stuff like i was saying and vegetables when i start growing stuff down here so that would be the plan to kind of feed these guys and keep them happy and keep them entertained because right now like i said i'm not really sustainable by buying food online all the time getting it shipped to us all the time so that is the plan so yeah that's pretty much it for the duck about the ducks like these guys will find their feet pretty soon they'll get a bit be good strong <laughs> and they won't start, they won't be the ones getting bullied they'll be the ones bullying so that's basically the plan and so yeah so i hope you enjoyed that and if you're new here consider subscribing to see how the ducks go and i will definitely make a vlog about us moving them because another thing i'm going to tag that um
the breeding pair so because you can distinguish it because it's quite it's quite difficult to kind of make them out but i kind of get them if you know what i mean so that's the plan but um anyways um peace and hugs hope to see you soon and yeah take it easy